23ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's what we're following on this Monday. State health officials predicting a bigger surge in COVID cases all across the country in the coming weeks following the new year. The county dashboard today registering the highest number of deaths in a 24 hour cycle. Taking a look at the number earlier today, it was reported as six. Then county health officials came out and corrected that, saying there were 16 new deaths attributed to the virus. That brings the total number of deaths in Kern County to 502. Now that combined with another 1700 plus new positive tests, the uh, total since the pandemic began now climbs to 66,526. The number of people who have officially recovered has also topped 20,000. Another 13,000 plus are believed to have recovered with more than 32,000 listed as isolating at home. Governor Newsom is expected to address the latest COVID numbers at noon today. It's expected that he will announce the stay at home order for the San Joaquin region will be extended. The Latino COVID Task Force hosting another testing event over the next few days today at the City View Church on Union Avenue until 2 o'clock this afternoon. If you show up, you can get a free face mask. No pre-registration is required. For more information on all the sites, you can go to our website. Well, snow uh, had, a, had a little presence on the grapevine overnight. The CHP had to escort traffic in the early morning hours as snow plows and salt trucks we're crisscrossing the mountain pass to keep traffic moving. No reports of any closures along Interstate 5 or Highway 58. Just a few spinouts. Let's bring in Atlanta Rusk to see exactly where that storm is right now. Mike, that's right. So that system has been sliding down the coast for the last couple hours. Now it will scoot on shore right over Los Angeles. So it will impact the bottom half of Kern County as the top part of the storm comes barreling through. You can see over the last several hours as it's been sliding down the coast, it's been a soaking rain for those coastal locations. And we've had some nice rain here on the valley floor as well. We'll continue to get some of that light to moderate rain, especially near Taft, it looks like. And it's cold enough to bring a bit more snow along those south mountains. A little bit above the 58 we could have some snow falling and sticking on the five but the worst of it for us was this morning when it was the coldest and by sunset tonight the bulk of that moisture looks to be clearing out but in the trapped clouds against our foothills we could still have some isolated showers and some drizzle and it looks like we take all night to clear those clouds out so tomorrow where there are clear skies calm conditions we definitely have the saturation for patchy fog i think the widespread soupy fog that fills in the whole valley that's more likely on wednesday once this system has completely cleared out of the way and those clouds are gone too. High pressure will set up Wednesday into Thursday, so there's another chance of fog Thursday morning too before a trough comes in that afternoon. But we look to be on the other side of the mountains. That's going to bring it snow toward Utah. So it'll keep us pretty dry, unfortunately, for your Thursday heading into Friday. I say unfortunately because we need the rain in this drought. Fortunately for you, because that is New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, and it's looking cold but quiet here in Kern County. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following on this Monday. Don't forget you can find breaking news, weather, and traffic anytime you need it by simply downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. We'll have another update for you right here later today.